Uh, the section tool um, has a lot of uh, aspects to it. Uh, there it is there, I've just double clicked it. Um, and you can uh, control the way the symbol looks on plan. You can see that I uh, passed the dialog box there. I've put one in. Um, you can control the marker head, which is this one. Um, so you can have a number of variations of the way you can cross-reference markers or the letters that you put in, put them in. Uh, this is the uh, marker line itself runs through. You can either have it continuous or stop it. Um, so let's run through a couple of things. So um, this is the um, I think the default setting um, is a little strange. It only puts a marker on one side, which is not what we normally do. So what I've done is I've chosen to put markers on both sides. And that's how this one's appeared. Um, you, I've chosen to a solid line uh, instead of a dotted line. So this line here becomes solid. And instead of two millimeters long, it's just a tiny little line. I I think I've made it fifteen millimeters long, so that uh, the length from the center out to here is fifteen mils. So it looks something like this. And um, what else? Um, the marker head itself is uh, is what you see. It cross-references um, a, a drawing ID and a layout ID. And once you uh, put this onto a layout, and I'll be showing you how to do that later, that is, let's say I put a section and a floor plan onto a drawing. Um, the section might be on a different drawing than the floor plan. Then the markers can actually all cross-reference the drawings to and from um, the plan so that uh, you can find all the cross-referencing for the sections automatically. But I'll show you how to do that um, maybe a little bit later. Um, there's a number of things that I could talk about in terms of modeling but we'll look at that also in a moment. Um, so when you put the section in um, you click once where you want one, one of the markers to be you click again, and if you hold the shift key, it locks it horizontally. Um, click again where you want the second marker to be, and then you get an eyeball. Now, the eyeball is important to understand what uh, the implications of that is. It's not only um, which direction you want to look, but it's also how far into the section you, you see. Um, so if you had a huge project like a hospital, you wouldn't want to see to infinity. You might only want to see to a certain distance. And the eye, the implications of clicking the eyeball here as opposed to here will mean that you you be able to see the section all the way to this point and not only to this point. So I'm clicking the eyeball over here. Now, we get a, uh, a, a whole lot of information here which eventually disappears when we put the um, section onto a layout. But basically um, what hap has happened now in the navigator palette I get two section markers, this one that I've already put in and this number three that has just gone in now. Okay, So we can look at that section by double clicking uh, this marker Okay, and it opens up like this um, you can see our um, story markers are in there and I'll talk about that in a moment and I'll also talk about this grey uh, shadows that you see there in a moment but I can jump back to the floor plan F2 um, the other way you can open up a section is to right click you'll notice the cursor reacts on the line of the section if I right click on that section marker and go to uh, open section it opens up the same way okay um, so what I suggest you do uh, the default setting I think uh, let me try and see might look like no, not like that but um, what I'd like you to do 
is open up the section tool so you might have to go down to document open that up and the section tool is this one here so if you double click on it and you might want to run through the uh, settings and choose them the way I did um, solid line 15 um, and you can run through try try the one the way I did it and then my suggestion is just play around and just get to know some of the other things that uh, it allows you to do now in the next tutorial I might talk about how you can control what you see in a section marker but uh, have a play with those things